Hey guys, it's Big G, and welcome to my tour of Greenwich Village. I'm born and raised here. I'm a fourth generation New Yorker from the village. And yeah, I have a tour guide license. I'm gonna show you a cool tour of the neighborhood from the cool food places, the hottest places to chill, and the most historical places. So uh, yeah, why don't we check it out now? All right guys, so we're in front of Cafe Reggio, another famous area in the village to get a coffee or a pastry. So this is one of the first Italian-American joints that is famous for coffee, just like Dante's Coffee down the street. It's very famous for bringing the first espresso machine and the cappuccino from Italy to the United States in the 1920s, allegedly. And it's always been a famous spot. It's been featured in The Godfather Part II, Serpico, and a lot of other films, and a lot of artists and famous people have hung out here. It's a good place for a date, to get a coffee, to chill. And yeah, there's a lot of cool art inside. There's a painting that's allegedly by the follower of Caravaggio, a Baroque painting of saints in a beautiful chiaroscuro, which is like light and dark shadow. There's a bench by the Medici family from the 13th century inside. There's a lot of cool art and like original furnishings inside. It's cool if people watch or if you just want a coffee. So uh, yeah, how about we get a sip and uh, a pastry? Let's go. So we're in front of Joe's Pizza, you know, you may have heard of this a million times, and the tourist manuals and word of mouth coming to New York. So this is a famous Italian joint founded in the 70s by an Italian from Naples. This place is really famous for its cheese slices and, you know, getting the pizza on the go. And the owner used to be Joe Pozzoli, who my mom actually knew and my family knew growing up, and we used to get free pizzas when I was a kid. It's really cool. And now the son owns it, so, you know, he's so not really free for me, but usually pay a few bucks for a slice. It's really good. Get the cheese place. And don't go to the place on Union Square. That's not the original one. This is the original one. You know, a lot of people going out at night in town come here to get a slice. And um, yeah, a lot of celebrities stop by. It's just, you know, an iconic place in the village. So let's get pizza. I'll stop talking. Let's go. So right now I'm here in front of Faco's, which is another very old throwback of the Italian heritage here in the village. So if you want you know, good a sandwich with salami or mozzarella or some good ice cream, you go to this place and it's still really authentic inside. It has all the cheeses and deli materials that you want for your sandwich. Or you can get a huge sandwich inside. This place is really cool. So why don't we go inside and show you what they have. Let's go. So we're a few blocks away from McDougal and Manetta Lane in front of Our Lady of Pompeii Church. It's really one of the last major Italian kind of monuments here in the village, in the South Village. It's literally of Our Lady of Pompeii and it's based on a church in Naples, the iconic tower above me. And it's really cool because they have the original art and ecclesiastical things inside. And this was one of the first Italian kind of churches and staples in the neighborhood built in the 1880s and 90s here in the village and a lot of famous parishioners have come here and the cool thing about this is they still have dialect of Napolitan and Sicilian Italian for some masses inside and it's really kind of an old monument of the big Italian former big Italian influence in the village as you see is Cafe Reggio and a lot of other cool places from Joe's Pizza and a lot of other cool places in the village. So just a stone throws away from Faco's and Our Lady of Pompeii Church is Rocco's Bakery. And this is a famous pastry shop here in the village on Bleecker Street near Leroy. And it's a really iconic place so you can get some tiramisu, some biscotti, 
original kind of biscuits and Italian cookies. And this place is really neat. It was founded by an Italian immigrant in the 50s who was 17 years old and you know passed it on to the family and it still owns it. It's a cool experience, it's a cool cafe, some pastries, you know, the Italian experience inside. You can sit down. So yeah, another place that you can hang out after you see some sights in the village. Alright guys, so we're just a block away from more coffee at Puerto Rico Coffee here, just like the country, but Puerto Rico, and it is from the 1920s, and it's a cool, original Italian coffee place here on Bleecker Street. You get wholesale big bags of coffee, or you can get a nice shot of espresso or coffee inside. It's a great place. They have Jamaican Blue Moon, the top coffee, and they have French cinnamon, all the different kinds of coffee, or tea if you like that. So it's here on Bleecker Street, right near the Red Door School, where like famous Robert De Niro and a lot of other people like Al Pacino went to school here and hung out. It's here on Bleecker Street. It's a really cool place to get coffee and just hang out on the stoop. It's a good deal. So why don't we go inside and get some coffee again? We went down Mineta Lane. So what is Mineta Lane? It's a really cool area here in New York City. You might see people snapping Instagram photos or YouTube on here. It's this iconic bend in the road from 6th Avenue to McDougal Street that in the 1700s and before used to be called Mineta, which had a stream underneath. And it's called Devil Stream, which a Dutch named after an Indian stream that went from here in the bend all the way to Washington Square Park, which is really cool because it shows that the area had, used to have a different geography. And it's cool when you walk in New York, the cool thing you'll notice is in the village, the roads are very irregular. They shape in different forms, like this one here goes on a curve. And it contrasts the grid pattern north of 14th Street, where it's very gritty. But here in the village, you can kind of stray off and see these cool places. And you know, you might see some Instagram models taking photos here. But it's a cool little shortcut from 6th Avenue to um, McDougal Street and Washington Square Park. You snap some photos and uh, yeah, never know who you'll run into. So let's take a little walk. So guys, we're standing right here in Washington Muse, which is a really cool part of the city near Washington Square Park and Waverly right near NYU on University. And this place is super cool because it's like a throwback in time. You feel like you're in like Venice, Italy or France with this amazing kind of architecture of beautiful pastel colors and amazing Belgian cobblestones right down here. But the cool thing is today, as these, this used to be a private community called a Muse. So Washington Muse used to have horses here before you know SUVs and crazy cars you see today. There used to be horses here, hence Muse. And a lot of famous people have lived here over the years, called Richard Morris Hunt, the Whitney's, and a lot of other people have lived here and called this home. So today, it's an NYU residency, but it still has that private gated, gated community vibe. And recently, one of the houses sold for $25 million, a whole townhouse from a former Rockette woman who used to be a Rockette on Broadway. And you know, today the real estate is hot here, but it's an amazing little community to get a respite to feel in Europe, snap some photos for Instagram, YouTube, and it's just a cool little break here in the village. So why don't we check out some more spots now? Hey guys, so right now I'm from the iconic Washington Square Arch. And this is like the symbol of Greenwich Village growing up here. Here it's on Fifth Avenue right near Washington Square Park. So this thing was built as an architectural kind of triumphal arch, like the Arc de Triomphe in Paris and other arches you see, to celebrate the American Revolution. You have two statues of George Washington. And inside you have secret rooms that you can actually go in that's open once a year and they have chimneys in there and on private rooms. It's a really cool kind of symbol of the village. Back in the 60s, they used to have cars going right through it and everybody used to hang out here from artists, you know, Basquiat, musicians, painters, uh, bohemians, all the, all the old kind of artistic types and people of class and different walks of life used to just chill in the park, come here to Washington Square Park. So if you come here today, it's easy to get here on Fifth Avenue and everything's in the village. You have a lot of cool things in the park. You have the giant fountain in there, you have statues and you have cool people to meet in the park. So uh, how about we check, on, check out the neighborhood and I'll show you around. Let's go. Right now I'm in the center of Washington Square Park. 
by the fountain. And this place is really cool. I mean, obviously, like I talked about, Washington Square Park is very historic with the artists and their art and historic things. But the cool thing about this place is the fact that it used to be a potter's field, which is like an old graveyard in the 1800s and before. So literally, there's like it's kind of crazy that there's 20,000 bodies of remains underneath. And it's wild because they found and excavated all secret chambers underneath with like skeletons and old an old church. It's really crazy. But right now we're in front of the arch and the fountain. A lot of things go down here. A lot of historic people and artists have hung out here. So it's just the center of the park. There's always something going. So right now we're in front of the Garibaldi statue. So this is an iconic, famous Italian-American monument built in New York City after the patriot and founder of the modern state of Italy, Giuseppe Garibaldi. And this is one of the first statues built in the area by Italian-Americans funded by Italians here in New York City in 1888. And it's a cool bronze statue on a pedestal and it's of Garibaldi and pose of his of his sword. It's a really iconic kind of almost superstitious area of the village for Italian Americans used to organize here and hang out. And today NYU some students, the business students, leave a coin at the base for prosperity and to make a lot of money. So today there's always these skateboarders nearby but it's a really important monument to Italian Americans. It's one of the first major Italian monuments funded by Italians and a lot of historic things have happened here and it's just a chill spot today but it's a really iconic statue shaded with the trees and of Giuseppe Garibaldi. So guys that was a cool little tour of Greenwich Village where I grew up. Hope you enjoyed the tour. If you liked this video, please smash the like button and hit me up for any tours. Um, hit me up in the link below for a private tour or group tour. I give local tours of where I grew up in Greenwich Village and art tours and history museums. You know, hit me up for a tour, I got you. It's like, I like to show the secret and cool parts of New York City. And hopefully you like this video. So please subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next tour guide and art video. Let's go.